imagine you have a brilliant friend named Max who has read every book, article and social media post on the internet. Max can recall entire conversation, understand details of language and generate responses that are both informative and engaging. So, one day you request Max to help you write an email to a colleague. Max suggests different words, fixes any mistake in spelling or grammar and even make the email more engaging to read. Next. You get help to summarize a lengthy report on a technical topic. Max simplifies the main points into a clear and concise summary, saving you hours of reading time. And later, you engage in a conversation with Max about a complex topic like artificial intelligence. Max responds thoughtfully using its vast knowledge and understanding of language to provide insightful answers and ask follow-up questions that stimulate further discussion. So this is what large language model like Max can do. Process and generate human-like language, understand context and meaning and assist with various tasks. So on that note, hello everyone and welcome to this video on what is large language model by Edureka. And in this video, we will discuss some of the examples of large language models and their applications. Followed by the working of large language model. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for the large language models course with generative AI. Dive deep into the LNMS and acquire proficiency in content generation and application development. The course link is in the description box below. And moving on to some of the examples of large language model, such as Google's BERT, Meta's Lava, OpenAI's GPT-3 and Microsoft Turning NLG. And these models have many applications such as language translations for accurately translating text between different languages and then text summarization for understanding the meaning and context of text for tasks like sentiment analysis, question answering and summarization. And then we have chatbots and virtual assistants followed by content generation for creating human-like text for content creation, chatbots and storytelling. And then we have conversational AI and along with this, it is also used for content recommendations, search engine, sentiment analysis and data analysis. Large language models work by using a combination of natural language processing that is NLP and machine learning algorithms to process and generate human-like language. So now, moving ahead, let's have a look at how large language models work. So first, the model is trained on a massive data set of text such as books, articles and websites. So this dataset is used to learn patterns and relationship in language. The text is then broken down into individual words or tokens, which are used as an input for the model. And then each token is converted into a numerical representation called an embedding, which captures its meaning and context. The embeddings are fed into an encoder, which uses a series of transformer layers to analyze the input text and generate a contextualized representation. And then the decoder generates output text one token at a time. So based on the contextualized representation and the model's understanding of language patterns, the model can generate text in various forms, such as continuation of prompt, text completion, or even entirely new text. And the model can be fine-tuned for specific tasks such as language translation or text summarization by adjusting the weight and biases of the neural network. I hope the working of a large language models are clear to you. But to help you understand better, let me explain with a simple example. So, think of a large language model like a smart parrot named Polly. And Polly lives in a busy tone where she learns to talk by listening to people chatting. She picks up words and phrases from their conversation just like we learn from hearing others speak. So, Polly's training begins when she listens to the people around her chatting, telling stories and sharing news. She pays close attention to the words they use and how they are put together. So, just like Polly listens for individual words and phrases, the text is broken down into small chunks called tokens. Each token represents a word or part of a word making it easier for Polly to understand. Polly not only learns words but also understands their meaning and how they are used in different contexts. She associates words with their meanings just like we do with pictures. When Polly hears a conversation, she processes the words she hears and makes sense of them using her knowledge of the language. She can understand the flow of conversation and respond appropriately. And then 
Police responses are like pieces of a puzzle that fit together to form a meaningful conversation. She uses her understanding of language patterns to generate responses that make sense in the context of the conversation. Polly can generate responses based on what she's learned from listening to conversation. Whether it's answering questions, sharing information, or telling stories, Polly can speak fluently like a human. And just as a Polly learns to mimic different voices and accents by listening to other people, the language model can be fine-tuned for specific tasks like translating between languages or summarizing text. And with this, we have come to the end of this video on what is large language model. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!